All right, so I am flossing, taking care of my teeth and everything. Uh, this is my weight right here, so I'm gonna try to, that's my um, body, body fat, water weight, muscle mass, or uh, should be my body mass index. So I am brushing my teeth, trying to take care of my teeth. Um, this is just me trying to get in the little exercise that will be, I guess, necessary for just motivation to continue forth. If I get too weak, I'm not going to, you know, continue or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's good to challenge yourself. So, I mean, I've done that with the one arm or one leg movements. Um, and for me, it's just important not to count how many reps you're doing. It's just more important to focus on the muscles. So, you know, if you're trying to do a lot of cardio, don't gauge how many miles you do and everything. It's just sort of pointless to do that. Um, it's just, it just becomes sort of obsessive and more of a sport. And then yeah, if you look there, I mean, my left leg is way weaker than my right leg. I broke my left leg. I've gotten surgery on my left leg twice. Um, so yeah, I am way weaker on my left leg. I'm just not counting the reps. I'm just trying to balance out my body pretty much. Uh, you know, get pr get prepared for homelessness and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. And this is what I'm doing right now. So yeah, I'm trying to do this hunger strike for a real reason. Um, it might just be day to day. Um, but just to have something in mind that I'm either protesting or trying to bring awareness to. I'll leave a link in the description on the video that has inspired me to go forth with some sort of logical reason as opposed to some physical or uh, spiritual way to fast or just try to kill off some diseases or whatever. Um, but just to sort of more have a hunger strike um, in, a, in opposition to so one thing I have to say to, well, I will say uh, to my commenters, I have to say, like, I don't appreciate saying I have to go out and be homicidal or I have to commit homicide and do all this stuff in the name of God or whatever you believe in. I don't appreciate bringing your religion to my door. So leave that stuff at your door. And when you come through my door, just respect what I'm saying and all that stuff. I know I understand people are young and they need to learn and break out of their old ways and all that stuff. So it's pretty much just coming down to I'm trying to change my ways. I would appreciate it if you were trying to change your ways too. So that's the basis of an experiment like this. And then above all, just going back to uh, trying to do something uh, for humanity or in a nonprofit-esque way and uh, not applying or endorsing any of the uh, religion or consumerism and obtaining the final goal of having accomplished something. Um, but I've tried to explain in comments that I don't believe in demons. Um, I have audio hallucinations and visual hallucinations. Yes, I have chronic suicidal thoughts. Um, I don't act on them and I don't act on my homicidal thoughts. So, right, just bring that stuff um, somewhere else. Don't bring that garbage to me. Um, I'm not religious. I'm an atheist. Um, and I'm just trying to encompass some sort of uh, physicality or apply my background in physics, which I've had very just re very recently to this new channel. So I have other channels. I'm just trying to do something different on this channel. I don't know. I don't want to have more channels in the future. Um, so aside from that, I'll, I will try to live stream at some point this week or just make a video as opposed to this sort of introduction to what's happening. I think a good place to start is on the topic of what's in uh, the link of my description. Uh, the man talking about how Pacific seawater has been contaminated by a nuclear presence. Um, and this goes on, this 
you know, turns into many other things like the beef, um, the cow products that we're consuming are highly infiltrated with the steroids and all sorts of uh, other things like that. <clears throat> then, um, on the other hand, you can't really have consciousness without um, its ability to evolve. So any sort of uh, thing in place will always be in opposition to basically being consumed. And that pretty much incorporates um, anything. So we're living on this planet that is basically, you know, we're headed towards uh, the sixth extinction and <clears throat> it would be nice if we could make life before that happens as good as possible, I would say. In my opinion, that's just what's happening and that can't really be changed by violence or enforcing, uh, you know, things like just raping cows, producing more cows, to have children so we can eat their children. Um, I guess into other topics like, you know, what are we doing about, what are we doing in our own communities about stopping violence, whether it's uh, cats, um, you know, children, and then other topics like, what are we doing about these families that just wish to throw away their kids? I mean, there's families out there that are literally throw away their children. I'm not saying this is exactly what happened, but a cop uh, from the sheriff's department came to my house yesterday and says there's a missing child. And then I don't know if he took the picture or if somebody else took the picture, but I'm assuming he took the picture um, right outside my apartment complex. But it's just um, spawned the idea that, yes, there are people out there that will put their babies in dumpsters or do whatever it takes not to be a parent when it was their responsibility in the first place because they chose to reproduce and all that. So, you know, what are we doing about the standard of these people? These people aren't being, these people aren't being brought to justice and there's no, the only graceful way we can really talk about our ideas or express our ideas without getting into some serious trouble is through this mechanism of YouTube and all that. In conclusion, there's a lot of poor people having families trying to raise families just wanting to or thinking that they can do enough being uh extremely just unwealthy um and then these people don't even want to be healthy so there's just so much or i guess uh where i'm getting that is you know try to be civil in the comments and everything but yes the hunger strike is happening we just need to share some ideas and try to come up with better uh proposals and being homicidal maniacs and all of that stuff so there's a lot of things that need to stop i mean one thing like just having this sex addiction uh in our own lives can put more of it into our real lives so in our private lives we're presenting this idea that we can have more of it in the public eye. Um, Cause you know, you just, I mean, I'm not trying to come up with any metaphors, but really there are things that need to be considered before um, just completely uh, getting rid of them or anything like that. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I have things to do. I have, you know, appointments and things like that. I'm staying busy. Uh, and then, you know, there's other things, but yeah, just try to, you know, discuss ideas, uh, just things that we can protest and things that we can stop doing or try to reach out to people and say, Hey, you need to really stop doing this and, um, just keep the conversation of that. I don't, <clears throat> I don't really need your, uh, what you, I don't really need the stuff that you, um, already have the stuff that you bring out the door like your religion and everything it's just really not helpful it's really just inconsiderate uh to the whole you know mechanism of my channel what my tra channel is trying to prevent so uh i am saying though you know be open-minded if you have things that you need to share and everything go ahead and share um but yeah i mean it's always better to be you know 
responsible things like having responsible sex and if you're not up for being a parent you don't think you should be a parent you shouldn't be having babies um and then there's other things like the uh serious depression or anxiety the fear and everything that we can also get into so